Hi there, welcome to today's Bloom Twisting Tutorial. My name is Sonia and I'm helping you put a positive new twist in your life. Today's video is brought to you by the letter R. Rainy days. Rudolph. Rum Tum Tigger. But also two other of my favorite things, that is roller skates. <laughs> and rainbows. So can you guess what today's balloon twisting video is all about? Not roller skates, but rainbows. <laughs> Before we begin, would you like to have a look at those skates? They're pretty amazing. Purchased locally through Chinatown here in Darwin. However, they sell all over Australia. That beautiful, gorgeous colour. Yep, it was love at first sight and I am going to give these a go after I film this video, so yay! So if you're looking for a pair of skates online, check out Chinatown. This video is not sponsored by them in any way, but their customer service is... <laughs> There's another thing that I love. And if you know me, it's rainbows. <laughs> so what I've done today is together this rainbow being inspired by the color palette that was on the front of the box. Close enough. <laughs> Let's get into how to make this balloon rainbow. So the balloons that you're going to need for this tutorial are a white 260 which is for the handle and for the clouds and then you're going to want 160s in either four or five shades. Let's get to it. Firstly, we're going to inflate the 260. I'm going to inflate it to leave approximately 15 centimeters or 8 inches uninflated at the tail. My trick, eyeballing how long that is and holding on to it, not letting go while I inflate. That way the air's going to stop when I want it to. So I'm going to start off by making a flower wand base. If you're not sure how to make a flower, I do have a video up here that you can go and check out. And I'm making this loop about three fingers long. Each time I do a pedal, I just give you a bit of a squeeze to help encourage the air towards this end. And basically, I like to keep going until I get to a handle length that I'm happy with. I do like working with an even number, in this case we've got the six. I would have had seven, but one of those pedals popped. So I've gone ahead and made my selection of colours, which is a variety of scrap and full length balloons, and I am going to start to build that rainbow. So I'm just going ahead to inflate my first balloon, and I'm using one of the scraps. I'm going to do an inverse colour scheme to this one I think, so I'm going to start with spring lilac and then I'll have lime green, then there'll be yellow, then orange and then finally rose pink. I'm starting with my first bubble which is going to be about two fingers long and as I twist, okay, side. making sure that that knot passes through the centre. And then I am going to squish the air back towards the end of the balloon as I then work it into the centre here. I like to wrap the balloon around in the handle area and in through the petals. Just where it is easiest for me to manoeuvre that latex through without disturbing the rest of the rainbow pattern. Starting off like so, taking my next colour which is lime green. And taking that knot I'm going to try and place this part of the balloon in as close as possible, nestled in next to the bubble. Now 
Now here I'm going to eyeball about how much longer this green needs to be to replicate visually what we see over the top. So once that's twist off and going to be tucked in alongside the spring lilac there, it should be about that length. remove my latex and tie that knot off as close as possible to that point in which you determined. If you tie it a bit further back it's going to allow the air to move further into the balloon and making it a bit longer than you're accounting for. I'm going to fold that in and firmly wrap And then making sure that's sitting nicely on top of the spring lilac. Next colour. With yellow repeating much of the same. If you get in between these bubbles here, you feel like there is a bit too much of a noticeable gap here between here and there while well, you're looking too close. <laughs> Sorry, but no, seriously, you can then shuffle it around a bit, try positioning it to the opposite side. Now I can see that these two are sitting closer to each other. Repeating like before. Yep, that looks about right. Bring it in nice and close. So as you can see a lot of time I'm wrapping around the central piece here and then back up into the flower petals. Now as I progress in my rainbow I do like to give myself a little bit extra in the nozzle end. So when you let out a bit of air just allow yourself a bit longer nozzle. I'm going to grasp it over this side. And I'm going to repeat. So again, I'm just making sure I have somewhat generous end bit. So I've really got something to hold on to as I stretch and pull it into the I'm going to hold it basically where I want to be with my thumb here. So four colours are looking pretty good. Yeah. All right, pink, here we go. For the final layer of our rainbow. Again, a fairly decent length here, because we're starting to really rely on this length to secure it into our balloon design and reducing the bulk in this area, because that's allowing us to connect it in And then maneuver the balloon further where we want it to be without again having too much pull. So our final layer, bring it in, holding it nice and firm against the colours before it, figuring the end point and quite generous here. And then when you've got to this point, put it back together. Ta-da! 
And finally, there we have it, our balloon rainbow. Now, if you want to be extra fancy because you feel like it, go ahead to add the heart. What I've just done is puff inflated it. I'm just going to position it in between one of these three petals. Position it in place. <laughs> so cute. This happens to be a 16 inch heart, and this is the 6 inch heart. They both look kind of cute on there, don't they? I do kind of um, more gravitate towards the smaller one, <laughs> but that's a sweet little alternative for you as well. So I hope you enjoyed uh, learning how I make my balloon rainbows today. If you are a balloon artist, you might have a preferred or very similar method of making your own. Or if you're new to the magic of balloons, well, I'm sure that this one will be a fun challenge for you to do. And just really working at getting those balloons sitting nice and close to one another and nice and firm against each other as that's uh, kind of the secret to getting this to work just right. You don't want to have them too tight together because then they're going to be a lot more competitive and pushing and moving around as opposed to be having just the right amount of pull to the one below it. So yeah, I really love looking at this one. It's really making me smile. I might even put it on a headband and wear it. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it to work tomorrow. <laughs> I hope they make you smile as much as they make me smile. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and why not subscribe while you're here. Anyway, till next time my friends, please stay twisted and I will see you in my next balloon twisting video. See ya! The rabbit rowdy rabbit ran round the rackety ridge. Rackety ridge? Yeah, rackety ridge. Hmm. How to make this beautiful... And I'll see you in my next video. And I'll see you. <laughs> Calm down, girl. And I'll see you in my next video. I have a combination here of scraps as well as full length. Mm. I have a collection here of both scrap and full length. There's hair on that one. I've selected my colours, and here I've got a. So I've. That is. So it's a little bit scary out here, but you know what? I've been about 100 meters from my house and I'm going 100 meters back. Let's do this. Well, I've done about six laps now. I've gone a little bit better as I go. Oh, God, that was the lightning. It was big again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if we can get more of that. Might even get to see some rainbows today, too. Oh my god, that was just this big bit of lightning. Let's see if we can catch a lightning again. What was that? What was that? Or it's through a spider web. Which is totally uncool, man. I'm worried I'm gonna fall. So I'm gonna stop recording now. Okay. Alright, see you in my next video.